Hello, people of Earth. Are you there? Hello. Is there anybody out there? Can you hear me? If you're there, say something in the chat. There is, there is Turl. How are you doing? I'm sorry, there's so many pieces of technology that I have to coordinate to make this crazy thing work. I'm so distracted. I'm like talking to people all over the world at the same time while streaming in all these different audio sources. It's crazy. Um. There's my, there's my mom. I will start once I just contact all the people that I know are going to show up and make sure they got the link. So just a little patience. Appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Awesome plants. That I water in and got some hands. Oh, I drink water with hand and grass. Growing taller just means the ground. Oh, hell gets softer. But when I look to my yard, I see. The sun is shining back at me oh, I don't like outside flies nail inside a shell Something about those eyes don't really sit me that well Hey, I think I'll go How is the sound? That was a sound check That is, but you guys both that like that song a lot So, it did sound good I have no idea how much delay there is between my talking and the stream. Oh, there's my there's my sister. Okay. I think I think. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna do a song. It's all recording. I think. Now it's recording. So I put these videos together because I think the songs are better when you can read the lyrics. I mean, I don't think you really need to see my face to appreciate the, what I'm trying to say here. Um, but I'm just going to roll through, roll through some songs and see how this goes. Um, try to feel your energy and, and you try to feel mine and try to do something cool here. 
As I was walking a ribbon of highway well, I saw above me an endless skyway well, I saw below me a golden valley The land was made for you and me The land is your land This land is mine From California To the New York Island From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, the lambs made for you and me. Thrown and a ramble, followed my footsteps, the sparkling shores of the diamond desert. All around me, a voice was sounding. This land was made for you and me. It seems to me the only thing holding a man to his land. How much he's going to carry our violence against the fell man. What's a man to do when he doesn't have enough? What's a man to do when his neighbor has too much? They say that this is our land. I don't see it in the facts Something that was borrowed And the lamb will take it back As you know the earth is dying As a barrel on a head Oh, say that this is our land All the land is dead This land's not our land This land's not our land It's for the people who live within How could a being on where there be other beings I need a place to be Hello 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 Oh, seven viewers. I just blinked my eyes and then it came. Uh, yes, I am trying to be real, real lucid. Is that awesome moon fly supposed to make me think of melancholy and infinite sadness? Because either way, good job. I mean, I don't have to think about it, but yeah, that makes sense. Because I love smashing pumpkins. How's the how's the, the volume? How's it sound with the, the noise and the volume and the levels? Does it sound good? I feel like there's a delay. I'm trying to do too many crazy things. I'm 
Y'all know what's coming next. As Terrell does and my mom does. That's the favorite song. Um, so that song, This Land, I mean, I wrote it for this week for uh, Regenerate Rising. I mean, I needed to put together a set list. And I don't even remember starting to play it. Uh, like, literally, like, I, it's just one of those fugue moments where you're like, wait, why am I playing this song? Like, where does, what happened? And, and I just sort of, like, pulled up the lyrics and pressed record. And I was like, I don't really know the melody. And so, so I kind of just made it part of it up. And then I was talking with my close friend Anya about it. And they were like, you know, you know, that song has a lot of sort of baggage in terms of like colonialism and sort of just the energy of it is, is somewhat like tainted. And I was just trying to be kind of ironic with it in the first place, just by just being kind of like, you know, making it minor. And, but just those conversations, like, sort of made me think more about, like, what it was that the song could say. And so all these parts started to flow out of me, um, of these, these new lyrics. And so it's like, I started going down this path of, like, well, what does it really mean to own anything, you know? I mean, like, it's very tempting to be very, uh... I mean, this song itself is it, very high and foo-foo, you know? But, like, the realities of land ownership are very, very different. And I really want to draw that thing. Not on, First, I want to say, like, you... The only... Th the, really, the only thing that keeps ownership to somebody is, is that violence, really, and, and how much violence can be committed against that person. I, I suppose if every person in, in land agreed that just whatever land was whoever's land it, it would st you know that would equal ownership as well but as soon as you have one person willing to commit violence if another person isn't willing to commit violence to protect their property it was this weird very 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 weird sort of concept and you know i just started digging more and more into it it's like okay it, we do know there's this history of colonialism and we do know that there's a lot of blood along the trails you know to the story of America, and obviously it's a very American song. It's a it start, you know, the This Land is My Land is uh, Woody Guthrie and folks on, I'm sure is probably standard before that. Um, and so it's just like the more that I dug into it, it's like, well, yeah, I mean, uh, you could definitely say that it's stolen, but it's like, that's still framing it within the concept of ownership, you know, and uh, I just really started thinking about it. It's like, well, how can we really own the land? I mean, we're temporary stewards of it, and we're not even respecting the things that we own. You know, we're supposed to, if you own something, you're supposed to, like, take care of it and, and keep it well. But it's like, when we die, we have these arbitrary rules that pass it on to, you know, maybe somebody related or whoever we distinguish to be the owner. But it's really, the, the, the framing I, I sort of wanted people to think about was was more just the stewards of the land and that the land sort of in a way owns itself it's something that i learned in the design science studios like this talk of uh you know personhood for land and for like concept environmental concepts that we want to protect that you know we have this legal structure that is out there so they've had the you know this movement to give that personhood to the land so that it can get the same protections as like a person would so it's very very interesting and, you know, there's this line that I have in there that's like, it's something that was borrowed and, uh, you know, Anya sort of reacted to that. It was like, are you implying that, you know, like American settlers borrowed it? I was like, no, 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 that's not what I'm saying at all. Right? It, it, what I'm saying is that we borrow the land from the land itself, that you can own it past your own existence. So it's sort of ridiculous. It's just, and I, I really just want to explore the complexity of, uh, like, just sort of like, foo-foo hopeful song and the realities of of what it really means to own things and like the distribution of ownership so that was a really long explanation and but i've been told explicitly that by people to do that uh and that my name is figure john ash i should talk the last one is indeed amazing uh thank you Terrell. i don't know if you've heard that one yet Yeah, I mean, I love the, the framing ship about ownership is more about love. And that's how I got into that part of like caring for the things and taking care of what you actually own. Um, and, you know, how do like we claim this ownership when 
uh, you know, most of the ownership over resources is extractive and not sort of uh, taking care of the resources, rather just what can I take out of it? Um, in the wall of my, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, I am still very nervous about putting holes in the wall of my apartment. It's this other complex aspect of it is like, I, you can be very high minded, but if you just let anybody into your apartment, I mean, the people, there are lots of people in need and lots of people would take advantage of that. And then you couldn't even use your own space because people would fill the space. Um, yeah, and the people there, the together, the poor and part. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do another song. Mm. I love the lack of, you know, uh, time constraint because I can really get into what I'm trying to communicate with these songs. Oh boy. It's always good to look at your technology partway through your recording to make sure that it's not repeating in a loop and cutting up everything into tiny 10 second clips that you'll have to stitch together manually at the end. Very important to always check that out. <sighs> so I put together all of these like lyric videos just so that you could sort of see these, you know, over the last 24 hours. Um, and so the timing that might, might not be perfect, you know, but um, I just want to have them on the screen for, for you guys to sort of get the sense of what I'm trying to say. And it's been moving this whole time and I didn't even know. See, that's the problem. Okay. Okay. I hope everything still sounds great. Again, this is a... Uh... <laughs> no, it's great, Anya. I love you. You're the best. And Roxy, I love you so much. And my mom, I love you so much. I love all of you. All of you for being here. I love your support. Okay. Let's give this a shot. This song is 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 from the perspective of God, which seems like to me such a like a ridiculous topic uh, to be like I'm I have the the I know what it likes what it's like to be God, um, but it's like I don't really plan out my songs conceptually or anything like that. I'm like I don't really get the idea to do it. It's more like it all comes in a piece. And this is one of those things where it's like, I just wasn't really aware and then it was done. And then like, you sort of listen to it and look through the meaning. And you're like, that's a very interesting message. It's very weird that that came through all in one piece. What does that mean that that came through all in one piece? Because it almost, it, it does feel like a very mournful personal song that like a naive God or demigod is just writing about its failings with humanity being like, I'm fucking trying to, like, I'm trying to help you, but you have these very strict rules about me not interfering personally. That's my young God with the acne and the cracking voice. That's my personification. Okay. <laughs> Young God, swimming in a light of pure indecision Standing on the top of the world and asking Should I end it all? I don't know if I taught them well enough To show them the lie As I look through their eyes I am alive as I hear the thoughts is mine to control their lives and give them freedom to try. But if the spirit of society can step outside itself for one goddamn second and take a look in the mirror in some self reflection, why am I, why am I, why am I like this? Why do I, why do I do this? Why am I, why am I helpless? Why don't I, why don't I feel alive? Feel alive. Feel alive. Feel alive. Young Earth looked to the sky and saw its creator. Said I'm tired of this lonely landscape and this nascent nature. 
I am lonely, send me children a play I saw they came on down Consumed its face I am alive As I hear the thoughts of mine To control their lives And give them freedom to try Why am I, why am I like this? Why do I, why do I do this? Why am I why am I helpless? Why don't I, why don't I feel alive? Feel alive. Feel alive. Feel alive. God prays to the higher gods. Feel alive. Help me save these people from it. No reply I am alive As I hear the thoughts of mine To control their lives And give them freedom to try uh, Why am I, why am I like this? Why do I, why do I do this? Why don't I, why am I helpless? Why don't I why don't I feel alive? Feel alive. Feel alive. Feel alive. Okay. When there's so much pussy, yeah, yeah, I got that. Woof, woof, the Kurt Cobain, you can't hear nothing that I'm saying. Katie! Ah, oh, I've missed you so much, I've been so busy. Katie! This is, okay, this, this, this feeds in because I, I, part of the reason I've been so busy lately is I've been recording a single. Um, I've been recording a single, which is something I don't want to do for fucking, I mean, sorry, what am I talking about, the show kids? Uh, it's just something I'm wanting to do for like a year. I wrote like a lot of songs to do it and I just, I, I couldn't really settle into it. But, um, you know, this design science studio program and the living systems collaboratory which you know i'm, I'm part of the, that this event is part of the regenera rising uh a confluence of something some it's, it's words we all like words and um yes so the the it's this really cool part that you know I was able to get funding to pr promote, produce art that promotes positive futures. And, you know, I've been working on uh, cognitivism for four years now. You know, it's this socioeconomic system that is designed that's really just direct, very directly about like, okay, the problem is our incentives and how we reward behavior. That, that That's the whole system. That's in the entirety of everything. It's both all the things that work and all the things that don't work. Well, maybe not all, but, you know, it's just like a lot of the things that work and a lot of the things that don't work. A lot of the reason why society is self-organizing is this sort of monetary incentive. And, you know, I, I've been really working towards this idea that we need to reinvent that incentive. And because we have all this incredible new technology, especially this, uh, this ability to store, to store data in a decentralized way, where, you know, all these people at, at different nodes and different ends in the network can feel confident that the data wasn't, you know, mutated now in any way, that really opens up the potential for new forms of government. And the most basic one that, you know, I think people seem to see who are programmers, they're like, what if you used GitHub for, for, for government? Which is, yes, you know, the idea is very, very intriguing that you would just have this forked data structure 
where you can roll back through the changes and if something does not work, you roll back. Um, and that's really sort of the foundation, I think, where a lot of people start thinking, like, well, how do you reinvent governance? Um, and so when I was working on this uh, and writing the manifesto at Cognicism.org four years ago, I, I, I really was interested in going as far as possible. You know, thinking a thousand years out into the future, not 10, not 15, not just about climate change, just really considering what it takes for a, a group of people to integrate their perspectives together and live together peacefully in a way that, you know, working together benefits them all uh, to the greater, the greater, you know, them coming together is greater than the sum of their parts. Um, which always isn't true, you know? I mean, most aggregate, like, cultural... Uh, agricultural societies that you know moved from you know foraging um to you know planting grain it's like the quality of their diet actually decreased and like there was actually like a level of increase uh, of stress from coming together so it doesn't necessarily just people coming together doesn't necessarily improve at the very bottom line it may reduce uncertainty for the individuals because they can feel more confident that for the next winter they're going to have food um, but un reducing uncertainty is different than uh, reducing sort of the, um, anyways. So I, ha I had all the, I had all these thoughts about how this would work. And I was thinking about democracy as this like system of tallying. And I really wanted to get more expressive with it. I wanted, I, and I was a machine learning engineer and I was seeing that, uh, th that these language models that you could talk to them and they would encode you know, what you were saying. It would, it would create some representation of your beliefs over time, whether or not those are, are true or false, that you could have a person interact with a model where they're just saying, okay, this is what I believe, this is this, blah, 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 blah. And at the end, it has some shadow representation of that person's belief. That idea of being able to just share your, your voice in natural language, I think just blows open wide the possibility of governance and who is allowed to participate all the way beyond humans all the way you know and, and including non-verbal verbal people you know um that's like people who cannot communicate with words but maybe they can interact with the screen you know maybe as we move forward we discovered that a lot of animals on this planet are a lot more conscious than than we're aware of and so i just wanted to have this system that could really just like based on the word, if the, the, the foundation is if anybody could communicate through words in any way, and that could be a non-verbal like expression into a system that triggers a set of words that we can understand, that person should be able to contribute to the society within that they live within. And I'm not saying that every individual that can possibly like contribute should, you know, have the same exact state, but I wanted to be, have a system that you could encode the word you know we talk about we think about the like the bible as like the word of god or something well what about the fucking word of you dude what if we all wrote like manifestos what if we all had this uh cultural moment where we just share our vision of truth and you like a thesis you know like in a phd but it's like your own personal conception of reality and so anyways the idea that I settled upon was that you could encode these this language via the or these beliefs via these language models, so you could build something upon that, and that was a very very abstract thing for me to communicate. It took me like three or four years for when GPT three came out and people could just talk to it, and it was you know cost five million dollars to train. It's something that I couldn't be able to do, but it, when they saw that, they're like, oh, I kind of got it, get it. But at the same time, it's like you can do the same thing with these models and you can um, do you, you can interplay and represent images. Right. And so I've been working on this song called Another Other. I wrote it like three days after the election when everything was still uncertain before, you know, the insurrection before all of the craziness, uh, but still in this moment of just like uncertainty, but kind of feeling like it was that, you know, it, it was going to go a certain direction. And I wrote this song and 
it was a really it, it's it's a song that's very much like I want to see you. You know, I, that there's all these people out there that I feel like are being really crazy and just doing the most ridiculous thing. And the message that I felt is like, I, I want to reach out with you. I want to connect with you, but you are acting fucking insane. Like you need to chill the fuck out because I'm trying to bridge this gap. But if you are going to be like a monkey throwing your poop at the walls, like how can we engage? And I was just sort of exploring that and just trying to be like, I am willing to put out this first, you know, olive branch. And then over the next few months, it's, you know, like we had like the most ridiculous things happen, include leading and, and leading up to this insurrection and, and just the chaos and the tension. And all that while that song was just like sitting there and I was like, what the... It, it felt so weird to release because I felt so much tension, tension and anger at, at people. Um, uh, because it's like, especially, you know, even close friends that I, that I knew who like cut me off because I, I was like, this is an insurrection. And they were like, you are being so political. I have to block you. Very interesting uh, that it's like that, that it got so far out there. And so I had this song. And I'm sitting on it, and I was supposed to record, record it, and I got pretty far, but there's this big note in it that's hard for me to get. Anyways, so I, I, I'm going to try to just sing along to the recording and hope that works. Um, and it, it's the video might be out of sync, so I'm going to have to check in with you guys, and you guys tell me if it's not hooking up because I like have it unsynced by like 903 milliseconds to be exactly timed, but let's give this a shot. I love you all. Thank you for being here. You are all beautiful people. <sighs> Just another tribe that makes you feel afraid I just want to bind our brains to feel heretical and chemical Down in all the minds and make us see the same Hey, 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 feel it in your brain It's coming from inside You want to feel the feeling and the feeling's feeling right What's your name? 
All you wanna do is sing the same refrain Hey, I won't change Nothing that you say is gonna shake my faith Hey, what's your name? All you wanna do is sing the same refrain Hey, I won't change Nothing that you say is gonna shake my faith I mean, I don't know if it aligned, but it felt good on this end. Um, the, yeah, the history, history of agriculture is super interesting. I mean, this history of humanity is super interesting. Uh, yes, dogs can even talk with human words if, they, if they're buttons, they're pressed. Uh, uh, that's what was making me think about that is there's this account on Instagram uh what about bunny and it's this like big i think poodle and it knows like 80 words and it's just the way it combines words is very convincing and the repetition the complexity and the spontaneity of the combinations like obviously there are limits and so uh, the owner did this you know uh, post about nonverbal forms of co co communication is something that there's like an actual phrase for it that Anya actually knew <laughs> the details of because Anya knows everything. Um, and uh, I, I was just, it's just been something that I'm very, very fascinated by, by uh, and the emergence of language. And I was, I, was, I was talking about the encoding of language and the encoding of images, right? So it's like, you know, uh, the video that you just saw is is essentially the same technology behind what I'm proposing. It is the encoding of faces into a representation where you can you can basically interpolate and find the in betweens. Um, that that model is this unsupervised model. All that means is that it just takes a ton of pictures of human faces, and it has this architecture where like you have two different models competing against each other where one is trying to create images of the face and the other is trying to identify whether that's a real image of the face or whether it was generated by the generator. And there's something magic about the way they fight against each other and it encodes this representation where that if you feed it to an output that reconverts it into an image, um, it, it looks like a human face and, and you can interpolate between uh, points in this space. And, you know, so it's like, I really wanted with the song to be like, see, we're not so different after all. You could literally interpolate between our faces. And it's like, you stop on these moments in the video and you're like, that certainly, like, I've never seen a person like that who looks like that. But it looks like a person. It just looks like a human being. And, you, and you're going in between you know, these two people that, you know, for whatever reason might never, never meet and never have like uh, children. Cause you know, you're basically seeing like all these interesting mixes of different types of people, but they just look like people. And I think it's just sort of the beauty and the power of being able to do that same thing with our words. Um, and, and just, that's just the foundation, just the idea that we could even take our natural language, feed it into these models and process it in a way that directs um collective behavior how you do that can be so myriad but the, the idea that we're not even considering that is insane to me and i i know it's because i, I i'm an nlp machine learning researcher so it's like i have uh this unique no set of knowledge but i swear to god like you think after four years i'd figure out how to say it to people in a way that makes sense and i i, I think if i could just get this video just right and like give context like this you can see what i'm talking about that the interpolation between not only beings just but 
viewpoints and how that could just radically shift how we work together. Um, and so that's really exciting for me. And that's where I released the, this, this particular single or I'm releasing this particular song. It felt very much in align with, you know, the Design Sound Studio and its, its mission of like making, a, you know, earth work for 100% of life. Um, and yeah, it was, I'm working on it. It'll be out, it'll be out, so it'll be out soon. It'll be out soon. Okay, let me read it. Let me read these. A, C, yes. Oh no, two beats off. That's rough. This is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. There, I mean, there's been lots of animal communication experiments that are just really interesting going back and... You know, I was just talking to my, with my close friend Nani about this, and I was like, uh, you know, what, I mean, most of these animal experiments are like, the animal is in isolation. The only people they communicate to are humans around them. And it's like, well, what happens if you really, like, you teach them all this language, and then you pull back, and then you stop interacting with them, and the only language that they, they interact with, with is with, um, you know, other uh, animals that they have also been taught the language. Like, how does that sort of evolve? How does that change? It's very, very, very fascinating. Yeah, I'm a set for a single two. This, I, I unwittingly, I think, made this set very, um, very turl friendly because I started with that, that snail and then I went into uh, a spirit of society and now i'm gonna do the earth uh, reprise um so this is this is a this is a song that's actually on my first album you could actually go and, and listen to this it's called the earth reprise and it's the most it's the one that people stream the most so i, I think people like it um yeah, let's 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 go. And I, I feel like Turl's gonna be singing in, in the background. Oh wait, hold on, sorry. Okay. Well, I don't need your pride. I don't need your fear and I'll find it all out As I spin through the sphere of myself and another's We will find together, we will find another Somewhere throughout time So don't this kind of grow I can spin on my own And I'll fight off your fire with a breath of ozone from the heart of my core fluid. How magnetic fools! They will cast off your words and will make us a home. So, you've raised us so well. We can walk on our own We can do all the things that we need to make home now With all of our people and all of our pride We'll find one another We'll seek out the light So don't discount our growth We can walk on our own and the world's not alone when the earth is your home so breathe when the light hits your eyes just breathe with me what is a sad face I almost ruined it more. Than that. that was for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I do. I'm glad that it's the most listened to song from Strange Hymns because it really sort of tied in and the concept that I was trying to go with, which is the sort of uncertainty of visions and sort of the, the the idea of people being so certain about what is right and visions of just not being completely sure what to do. Like, there's two other songs on the album, The Rising Sun and The Patient Moon as part of this trilogy. Um and the rising sun is just sort of this idea of the sun wants to make, is talking to God, making, wanting to make the moon just kind of go away because it knows that it, it is beautiful and it makes everything bloom. And so it's like, well, what if I just was shining all the time? Of course, the reality of that is that, you know, the earth would be burned to a crisp. I mean, you need the balance between night and day. You need the heating and the cooling. Um... And, you know, so the patient moon is this response from the moon to the sun, and then the earth reprise is this response from the earth to both, just saying we can do this. You know, we can solve the problems that earth faces. And it, 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 that is the ultimate uncertainty right now, is whether we can get our, our shit together to coordinate in a way that avoids, like, sort of these unwanted futures that people seem to be aware of, you know, especially in terms of climate. 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 Yeah. Well, okay, Charles, the, the, actually, the last part of that song is not in the song. It, I always had this vision of being like having songs that would have a secret part that was just for live. And so I had that last part about bre the breathe part written right back from the, the when I originally wrote the song. And I just saved it, saved it, saved it, saved it. And then I just never did live shows or I just forgot that that was there. And so I was like, oh, let me just, let me just add this in it. That's so was like, and I got like a couple songs like that where I'm just like, I want to have like this surprise. And I really like the idea of like songs that are constantly evolving. Okay. I would like to, I, I have songs on my mind that I, where I would like to play. I was only made, able to make four of those lyric videos. Uh, do you want, you have requests? Because otherwise I'm gonna go into a stream of, of, of songs. I mean, I can do uh, The Rising Sun and I can do The Patient Moon because I just talked about them. Um, the the next song that I have in mind is The Greatest Man Alive which is a very cynical song and you gotta be prepared to it prepared for it okay Baloney has a first name, it's O-S-C-A-R. My Baloney has a second name, it's M-E-Y-E-R. And if you ask me, it's B-O-L-O-G-N-A. I'm loading up different set of lyrics for you. If it works. And we're gonna have to zoom in, zoom in a lot. Can you read the thing? Is it good on the page? We gotta zoom, zoom a lot. Okay. Well, I'm in. Uh, well, I can't do Wellerman, but I'll, I'll do a little bit of Mountain Song, which is, you know, kind of a shanty, if you think about it. But I just got this loaded up, so I'm going to do this. Do you have anything to say? Well, then we got to change what? Are we going to change it to girl? 
Or is it just the same four lines? The world is in decline And if the rich would just decide to give it all up, baby You got a lot to say, but you will not ever say it If they do not give you the p -p 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 power Yeah, my God is stuck in my head now, stuck in my head now, stuck in my head. My God is stuck in my head, but it bears repeating. We got just 25 years to 25 years to 25 years to. We got just 25 years to save the whole planet. It goes. <whistles> Gonna be the greatest, greatest man alive Yeah, you'll be the greatest, greatest man alive You could But you can't make decisions Do you have anything to say To a planet and decay? I know you don't You say you do So go and change everyone's mind by posting memes online You'll save the world, you save the world, you save the world Yeah, right <laughs> Gonna be the greatest, greatest man alive But you can't make decisions You got a lot to say But you will not ever say it If they do not give you the p p p p p p, -p, -p power Yeah, you wanna shout the same for lines like Socialism's great, or yeah, capitalism's the best, okay Yeah, my god, it's stuck in my head now, stuck in my head now, stuck in my head My god, it's stuck in my head, it bears repeating You got just 25 years to 25 years to 25 years to we got just 25 years to save the whole planet Gonna be the greatest generation I know it You can make the people wanna die for it You'll be the one to open up your eyes But they won't even listen Um, I'm sorry, I, I can't really show everything everything uh because uh, i had to scroll that's why i made those videos um but the bridge you want to shout the same four lines like social is greater yeah capitalism the best okay yeah um this song is is really kind of about like yeah i don't want to say just white male saviors because it's i switch i switch up the pronouns in there and talk about girls and i don't write, mention race or whatever it's just I live in the Bay Area and I just know there's this attitude that's really about just saving things for the glory. You know, saving the planet for the glory. Like that's what it wants. I want to be the one who saves everybody. I want to be the person who saves everything. And it's like most of that energy is not really expended towards actually things. It's really just, it's pointed at, at one's own ego. And I, I see a lot of this and I see it in myself. It's a very, it's a thing you have to sort of control is that when you get these ideas and you think you can help people, you, you gotta like, um, you know, restrain that sort of, uh, I, I think that a lot of the people who are doing a lot of good in the world still need to rein it in a little bit, you know? I'm not trying to attack everybody who, who does good things. It's just this take pause moment and think about it. And it's definitely not like this absolute, like, fuck anybody who does any of this, you know? It's just, yo, think about it. Like, there was somebody posting recently, um, or who was doing a, a talk, and they did it after mine, and I, I have this line in here that is, um, you, you're gonna post memes online and change the world, yeah, right. And then this person right afterwards, in their, their presentation, um, they just talked about the importance of, of memes and um, change and changing uh, culture and and making for a more equitable world. 
And I think there's sort of a self-consciousness there. And I didn't mean this song to be like, don't do any of that stuff. It's just pointed at the armchair savior. The person who's sitting at their computer desk, who's not actually doing anything, but is just talking their gab off. And absolutely making memes and making art is incredibly important to change things. That's why I, I write songs. If I just thought the only way to move things forward was to, you know, I could start like a company or, you know, I could just build out the system from the ground up or form an organization or something like that. But what I'm, what I view as the most important thing to occur is that an artistic movement forms around a new form of government. That is what will make it happen. If an artistic movement can form around a new system of government, it w then it will be achieved. There are lots of other things that will happen in concurrence with that. Um, but the creation is the important part because we live in a society where art is monetized. And so every all, all advertising, all promotion of any idea is done through the through the money. Money promotes and amplifies your voice. And so if you're wanting to change the status quo, the really the only way you would do, be able to do that is to get the most money to make your voice the loudest but we know that there's spontaneous creation so i view very strongly that the way that you make real social change is that basically people are motivated to create art to promote it, it because they're just you can call it propaganda you can call it advertisement you can call it art you can call it memes but when you have this social movement that's trying to change the status quo directly, I think that the only way that you can fight against it within the, the society that we currently live in that monetizes art is that there is this intrinsic motivation to create art in its name. And that's why I, you know, I create these songs and I write these songs in the name of this instead of just being so explicitly like, hey, here's my fucking manifesto. Let me write a white paper. Here's my, you know, pen, pencil pusher. Oh, here's the blockchain. Ooh, let me set up and, and try to, you know, dole out these coins. First, first initial coin offering. Initial coin offering. You know, because I, I, I feel like cognizism as a system that is fundamentally designed to deal with the problems we face. But I also think that the best implementation, the best path to actually not getting screwed over is just that tons of subgroups working towards creating a new system and there's competition between them not just like one group holds all the magic sauce but that there's collaborative competition to make a new system of governments that you know solves the problems that we have and that's the sort of world that i want to see that's why i do all the stuff through speaker john ash that's why i release all these videos that's why i release these songs um and i think it's just really important i think that there's a lot of complex things going on i think people are afraid of the future and I just want to give them this, this idea that if you're afraid of the future, then what we should be doing is just in our own natural language, logging our perceptions of the future over time and helping to reward the voices that are most in alignment with the actual outcomes. You know, like the whole, you know, scientist in movies saying that the, that an asteroid's gonna hit and nobody listens to them and then it happens and it's like the person doesn't get any sort of reward nothing changes after that that's the problem with this the society it doesn't it does not reward the people who were right in the face of collective criticism and i think i think that if you solve that problem of the way that voices are amplified and distributed in and throughout the internet which is doable just via technology and will um then all these problems are going to start to coalesce in a direction because we'll be able to frame them in a way that we can present our feared future to a collective or distributed database where if you are right, there's some sort of accountability or there's some sort of reward that amplifies, amplifies your voice for being correct or for contrib contributing to a positive future. So it all weaves together, you know, I mean, that's, that's, that's why I talk uh, a lot about all these ideas. Yeah, the, the, the vegan is, I am not vegan, but vegan is the right path. I should be vegan, 100%. I should be vegan. 
we're getting so close that it's just like I can't tell the difference. It's expensive, and but it can be cheaper if you buy in bulk. But yes, my bologna has the first name. It's vegan. It's, to, it's tofu dog. It's very good. Yeah, there are memes, and then there are memes. Yeah, I feel that. You see how this sounds. I was a child of a poor man's daughter, born at the brick of a bone. Wandered through the trees of a mindless mother, silent in our home. High in the sky of a red October, heart was left unsown. Five magpies as the mist rolled over, wild winds will grow. The dawn discovers a choir. Night of a hungry hunter, shade and sleet and snow, whisper leaves and weary thunder, wilting wild rose, timeless tales of sundry summer, songs of a can woe. Five magpies as the mist rolls over as a lion roams the dawn, discovers a choir. Self slumber acquired. Oh, yeah. uh, um. I was, see, it has a very, to me, shanty-like quality to it, you know, like, Soon may the weatherman come, finger some and sugar and rum. And then it's like, uh, I was a child of a poor man's daughter, born at the brick of a bone. It's, it's the same tempo, and it has a sort of, like, you just stomp and, like, chant it. Um, for some reason, I identified it as being sort of mountainy, and I made it a mountain song. It's one of those songs, I, I t now I write songs where the lyrics, like, they mean something. There is not room for misinterpretation. There are a lot of bands out there, like Red Hot Chili Peppers and System of a Down, they're like, well, our lyrics are for whatever our, our people interpret them as, and you like listen to the lyrics and they don't seem to mean anything. And no, 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 I, I, now I definitely have something very precise, very exact that I'm communicating. Uh, but Mountain Song is one of those things, that I don't know what I'm talking about. Five Mac Pies as the mist rolls over, wild winds will grow. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's like, what sounds like a mountain? Um, okay. Check this out. Let me hit you with, let me hit, hit you with some, some, some sounds of uh, the sounds. The hills are alive. With the sound of music And I was a guy Who wore a shirt In the room, cause it was hot Okay spin 
Traveling in a world of my creation What we'll see will defy explanation If you want to view paradise Simply look around and view it Anything you want, want to do it Want to change the world There's nothing to it There is no life I know To compare with pure imagination Living there, you'll be free if you tru truly wish to be such a wonderful message and it's so beautiful and the chord progression is so absurd and you go and you listen to the original and it's Gene Wilder he's like not even singing on pitch and that's what makes it so incredible and just hits me really really hard okay okay I'ma play a song, I'ma play some songs for you, I'm enjoying myself, I'm singing, I'm saying stuff to a computer screen, yeah baby, to a computer screen, like Debra, whatever that song goes. Mm. The fuck should I do? What 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 the fuck should I do? Ah, everyone's eating the meaning I got, chasing the freedom to be what you want. Turn to the music and now you abuse it, cause everyone's trying to be on the top. You seeking the meaning of God? You praise the people on top. You're weaker the more that you talk, so I know what did you say you think something will change. I love everyone thinking they're gonna break out of this social decay. The people of power pay their way out of time, but you're stuck at the bottom. You better get ready to pay with your time. What the fuck should I do? 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 Fuck should I do? What the fuck should I do? And everyone's trying to be a big man, cheating and stealing is part of your plan. As everyone does it, you can't rise above it. You're playing the game, so none of you even exist. Back on my fist, taking a personal risk, selling your soul for. A chip, taking a piss, looking into the abyss, copy the people on top, breaking the law, but if you ever get stopped, lawyers won't do what you want, cause you ain't got money and power God. You're seeking the meaning of God, praise of the people on top, 
You weaker the more that you talk, so I know what you say you think. So no change, I love everyone thinking they're gonna break out of the social decay. Praise the people of how pay their way out of crime, but you're stuck at the bottom. You better get ready to pay with your time. What the fuck should I do? 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 I do love this song. It's, it's, I think it's, I think it's my most original and interesting song. I, I think it, it's a song that excites me the most. I, I, I think that, uh, you know, with a lot of my songs, like, like that's, that chord progression, it, it, like for, the Year of the Pies, like, that's a great song, but, like, that chord progression has been used a billion times. I even used that chord progression on, like, multiple songs on the first album. Um, but, yeah, that song is, is very intriguing. It's not a song that, like, I chose to write. Like, I've talked about that multiple times, that, like, most of my creative output as Speaker John Ash has not been conscious. It's not been, like, I'm going to sit down and write this song. It's like, no, it's like, I, I w wake up and I'm like, I have a song for some reason in my head. The whole thing, I need to go write it down, or I'll just be sitting there, and I don't, I don't know what it is, and then it, and then it comes. So it's, it's very much like a channeling type of thing. And at the time, I was, I was for some reason making a lot of of beats, and I don't know, I, I don't even remember. I just picked up the guitar and I started doing that, and like I don't know why the hook has that accent, the Boston accent, like that is just how it came. And it was just like one of those things where it's like, the song has a will of its own. It, like, and there's like a theory of this that like ideas have their will to exist and they will their, themselves into being and they have a sort of consciousness. And it does feel like that because it's like, I'll be really, really tired and the song will will me to stay the hell up to finish recording because like I can, I'm only connected with you. I'm only psychically connected to you for this brief moment and we're gonna lose it. You need to capture me. Um, Yeah, that song just sort of came out that that way as, as it was. And um, I just really wanted to explore with that song the idea of a different set of rules and that like the idea is it's absurd that when you're up at higher levels, you can break more rules, and so you can climb further. But when you're at lower levels, you cannot break those same rules, except for you see all those people who are rich breaking those rules to get ahead. So it's like, well, what am I supposed to do? I feel like I should break those rules to get ahead. But if you get caught, then you're going to jail. And it's just sort of that difference between, like, the people who are rich, they pay with money for lawyers to, um, you know... Uh, get out of trouble. And if you don't have money, you're going to pay with your own, your time instead. Um, what is it? But if you ever get stopped, lawyers won't do what you want because you ain't got the money and power of God. That, like, you know, your word of truth does, does not really matter if you don't have money or, or power. But if you have money or power, then, you know, you can really do quite a bit of law breaking and just get away with it. And I just kind of want to explore the, that from a perception of somebody who's trying to make it and trying to make it through sort of like music and sort of just getting, turning to something else, you know, like giving up about like sort of a lofty goal, you know, going out of it. And just like this turn, the, the, the turn, uh, of just like the corruption from the observation of the people who are successful. When you see the people who are successful doing these things, it's like, it's hard to like be, how could you not to go ahead? I mean, most of us don't break the rules just because, I don't know, it's ingrained into us, but I wanted to juxtapose, it, juxtapose those. And that, I just, I do love that song. I think it's a great song. <sighs> Okay. Oh, 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 I'm gonna sing a song. I'm gonna sing a song. It's gonna be a fun song. You're gonna like it. Da -da 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 -da. But I just can't wait to play this song. Yeah, I just can't wait to play this song. Just 
Jenny, I got your number. I'm gonna make you mine. Song is called Speak. You know, Speaker Joe Nash. I'm a, I'm a big about that speak stuff. Like, oh, it's all it's it's all connected intimately. All of it, all all of the language, all the words, the manifesto, the videos, humor, the album covers. It's like it's all this grand thing. Some, anyways, this song. I'm. Apologizing because it bring up the lyrics. But it's a good song. Roxy likes this one a lot. Are you gonna raise up and lift your voice so high? Are you gonna break down and never even try? Cause you gotta know we ain't got a lot of time This life, these times You wanna change their minds But you feel it too late No talk now Minds resigned to signs of hate Voices crash and stay the same So you feel, feel Quiet now Hold your tongue and things will change Close your ear and walk away And you'll feel No fear But it will not help us heal Are you gonna say I don't like the other side? Are you gonna think you're the only one who's right? Is it really worth losing her to keep your pride? No time for spy. We gotta make this right. Cause if we could change, balance out. Some will say we've lost the way. Speak your voice and things have changed. Did you feel? Quiet now, face your truth upon the stage, use your word and we can say what we need to be. Your voice will set you free. Are you gonna say, I don't think I wanna change? Are you gonna pray out to the world with your pain? Fees are coming, coming. You just keep on running. Have you, you got something to say? Ha, 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 hey. You gotta pray. You can't control. So you can't control. More than the things you know So I love to watch you say That you're gonna make a change But I got a feeling in my soul We got some room to grow If we wanna see the earth survive So I'll see it one more time But I wanna hear you speaking up Lord, I just can't get enough And I wanna hear our voices one Till we breathe the rising sun Woo! This song, this song is, I like this song. Um, so hard to remember all, all, all the words. Um, hello, hello, hello. Live streaming. Song needs a music video. I, uh, Samuel, I mean, Carl, I don't know which one you want to be referred to here. Uh, I don't know which song that was the was when the song needs a music video. I don't know which one. <laughs> no, it's not one now. Now is still a song. Now is, now is still a song on, on its own. Um, it's a different song. 
Yeah, lawyers are, are evil magicians for hire. Like, literally, it's such a weird thing that we can pay somebody to argue for us. But at the same time, not everybody's as good arguing their own stuff. Yeah. And so, you know, another other, I what when I wrote it, I you know, I was trying to write the sister song to that because I do that. I have like two songs that are, are ba bound. Like the whole first album is just a set of 10, well, 20 songs where there's sets of two. They're all bound to each other. Um, and so I, I was thinking about Speak as... Um, you know, this one song, and it, it would, Seek was really hard, actually, sorry, I, not everything that I write, I, I take it back, not everything that I write comes out perfect, like, quickly, like, the incredibly complex stuff, the stuff that's, like, chords that I don't know, it's, like, it's harder, and it's almost like, I don't know, it feels like the idea is trying to come through, but it's like, you don't know the chords, so how can we do it quickly? You know what I mean? Like, how can we get the idea through quickly if you don't know the chords, or you don't know how to sing this type of thing yet? Um... And I wish I understood how uh, stuff came through. Um, I wish it was control. control. Um, and this song is also tied into cognizism. And, you know, so, so another other was going to be titled Listen. It's supposed to be Speak and Listen. Like, listening to people who you don't really want to hear. <laughs> because they're and and you acknowledge that their their viewpoint is so completely contrary to yours that it is unreconcilable you know it's like what what are we gonna do just like pretend that all these people don't exist until like what i, I don't know i i think we can't not look at each other and then speak on the other side it's like people who are just so burned out from you know feeling like they can't convince anybody of anything and they can't because it's people online and they're strangers if it was in person you'd probably have a little better better chance um but just people who are just so burned out that they're no longer speaking um and so you feel quiet now hold your tongue and things will change close your ear and walk away it's just like me kind of being sarcastic about it like yeah sure if you if you just don't say anything everything's gonna be fine um and it's also this attitude, it's like, you just, what, that's it? You just don't like them, so you're just not going to talk to them? That's 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 how your reaction is, you don't like them, so you're just going to give up. Especially when we have all these problems that are facing us. Um, you know, it's like, is it really worth it to just, is it really worth to just be prideful and be like, oh, I don't want to talk to this because, you know, we... I might feel uncomfortable during this or, you know, whatever. Or you might find out that you're wrong about something, whatever. You know, I mean, is it really worth it? I don't know why I just looked at the microphone like it was a camera. But that my brain was like, is it really worth it? Um, yeah, no time for spite. We've got to fix things. I feel we could change. I feel we could balance out. Some will say we've lost our way. Speak your voice. Just, just communicate and maybe things could change. Um, face your truth upon the stage. That's like literally like, don't be afraid to say what you think is important. Like, we don't have time for you to not speak up. Um, and then this line is just like, well, you can't engage with that unless there, you consider that maybe something that you believe is wrong. You know, and I guarantee you, I guarantee you something that you believe completely and wholeheartedly and myself too, just with so much confidence, I guarantee something you believe is completely wrong. And if somebody told you this right now, the, if they just said it out, the, whatever the thing is, you would be so vehemently against it and angry for them to even suggest it. But I guarantee you, there's at least one thing in your knowledge that is wrong. Um, and so it's like, I want people to be able to consider that, that, you know, like that is the point. And, and that is the world that we should build ourselves around towards is constantly trying to refine rather than just like, oh, we've, re we've reached the truth. I, my vision of reality is perfect and I never have to refine it again. It's not like it's constant revision, constant refining of your perception. And we all have errors in our cognition. And, you know, in that refinement and in reflecting and refracting across the voices of other people by speaking, by listening, we create this human commu computer uh, where we process the biggest problems. And, and the problem is, you know, we have these big 
algorithms that are choosing really who we speak to because it's distributing our content and showing to who. And it's like, well, we're computing is just with other people who already agree the same thing. So it's like, you're never getting that resolution because in so few pockets are dissonant voices actually coming to a head without coming to a violence, just in, 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 in conversation. Um, and, and, you know, this final outcoming part is very, very much liter literal. When I say speak our voices one or hear our voices one, I'm literally talking about the cognitive models there. Like I'm, I'm just saying, like, I literally want, it, it's, it's a common phrase. I want to hear us as one, like people speaking together, but I mean that very literally. Like I want to, to all see that the vision of how we can interact using with these machine learning tools should be used to do this instead of wasting it on dumb things like deep fakes and like all the and weapons with AI. I'm like saying like, Hey, what if we used AI for this incredibly good thing that moved society forward like a lot instead of all these terrible things? Um, like, wouldn't it be interesting? Let's just try it, you know, geez. Um, and, and I know that it's just such, such a massive collaboratory thing. Like what, four years ago, like there, I, I knew it was possible and I built a model that could kind of do it. But also it's like, I just didn't have the resources. And then it was like two years later, Google came out and they're like, hey, we literally read the entire internet on this model. And uh, it's cost us $5 million. And now it does what? you know, like what I was claiming four years ago. So it's like, there's this slow, gradual moving po point. And again, like that, that cost point is, is a problem. But when you're doing distributed computing, um, you can do this thing called federated learning, where like only a small percentage can of what is being computed can be done in each machine. And each machine can only see part of the data, you can train this massive model. And um, oh, I was going to go somewhere with that. Train this massive model, collective voices. I had something good, but I lost it. And anyways, yeah, that, that, that song is very literally, literally about speaking of, of voices as one and aggregating our perspectives. Love lost the dreams of the needs. A story is united. I know that now it's a different. Oh, the songs make babies. Maybe, yeah, maybe it makes the people too. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying myself. I have plenty of songs, uh, like I said, requests that you have. Otherwise I'm going to go and I'm going to do take flight military games or porn, but we figured out something good with it. Yeah, it's true. But that, I feel like that's kind of puts, it shows why like markets really aren't that efficient. You know, like the market optimizes for technology that either kills or, you know, gives us the greatest dopamine hit right away. And that's interesting. Markets are, are incredibly fascinating. Like, I can't get behind people who say, like, all markets are, are just completely bad. But, like, in the same, you know, side, like, I can't, I also can't see people who are like, markets work perfectly and efficiently, and there is never a time where the people who are functioning within a market are better off for functioning in it. It's like, come on, it's not that hard to see examples of really predatory things. Like, you know, the bans against child labor are literally constantly re reminder that if we did not have rules and laws, that every capitalist would just use child labor. Like, we have to have laws for it, because if we didn't, the market would use child labor and it does in other countries um so you know it's just like balance between perspectives anyways i'm gonna do take flight this is a song from my first album i didn't prepare this one though so i think shana said a lot i don't know if she's She's told me that she really likes Moon in the Shape of a Heart.
light and rise. You know, I know the end part is really hard, so I'm gonna move that down a half step just in case. Softly spook the wind When the hills are calling Winter will begin Now you're on your way home You ought to find your way through Yeah, on your way home You ought to push on through, brother, now Bells ring, the morning calls Restless wake from the night to find a way through Now you're on your way home You gotta push on through Brother now Breathe I am alive My wings will lake, but home remains and mine. Gold streaks across the sky as the swells will rise, will chase. Magnetic light Sleep tight on ya <sighs> Yeah, Nick Drake, I mean That's a huge compliment Even Nick Drake couldn't write many songs that sounded like Nick Drake So, when it, that song was definitely like I'm trying to do a Nick Drake song <laughs> like Not initially, but as soon as I heard the connection I was like Shit, let, let's let's lean into this. Uh, but then it was really hard to do in studio, and so it ended up very different. And then I invented a new version afterwards. After the studio version came out, I was like, "Oh, that's how I do it." And I was like, "Oh, okay." I mean, I okay. I need. <laughs> I've been going for a long time. I need to figure out like what a good song to end on. Is uh, normally it would be. Uh, the Earth Replies. I still can do God Won't Save Us. Uh, I think. It's a hard song for me to sing. Um, God Won't Save Us. That's about aliens talking to us psychically. I shouldn't have said that. Because, it, 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 I mean, it's not about that. It's not about that. It's about God Won't Save Us. That's what it's about. Um, yeah, I, 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 I ultimately, Terrell, I do like the live version better. I did, I did not know how to capture just an acoustic song well for the first album. So, you know, I was, I was even considering for another, oh, Purple Pill. Uh, yeah, let me, let me pull up the lyrics for that and see if I can do it. Purple Pill is, has the same problem for me as Greatest Man Alive, where I like, I love the lyric. Um, but I just feel like I have these natural inc inclinations that are kind of goofy 
the like the melody that comes out is like so the song I want I, I don't know how to make it feel less like that but I love the lyric Get on the way, number three, forget the rest I don't think it's gonna work for me Because I like reality And I don't think I'm alone in that bag None of this is real Yeah, yeah, the horse been coming As you wanna feel Plugged up to plastic boxes I just wanna feel I just wanna see what we've done Come and tell them me Oh, what the world of these free, free. So I wanna walk the streets free, free, yeah. None of this is even real. All of it will go away. Living in a plastic box instead of a reality. Don't you wanna be awake? Don't you wanna hear the earth? Don't you wanna feel the earth? Oh, that good, good of the soul, yeah. Take the blue and live in comfort Take the red, experience her Take them both, tell you what they're gonna do It's gonna be the best of both worlds Take the purple pill, it's time to live in the future with me None of this is real Can you hear the horseman coming? Does you wanna feel? Plugged up to plastic boxes I just wanna see I just wanna see what we've done Come and tell them I'll walk this world with you so free, so free Don't you want to walk with me so free, so free, yeah If I found you, would you follow me out? Would you greet me with doubt or relation? Do you want to be free? Are you ready to see? Are you ready to take the purple pill with me? None of this is real can you hear the horse be coming? Do you want to feel? Plugged up to plastic boxes I just want to see I just want to see what we've done Come and tell me I'll walk this world with you so free, so free Do you want to walk with me so free, so free, yeah Now this is even real All of it will go away Living in a plastic box Instead of a reality Don't you want to be awake? Don't you want to heal the earth? Don't you want to be the way Of that good, good work? I know how to play that one still! Yay! Um... Let's talk about it. The song called Purple Pill. It's Matrix reference obviously but it's also you know a reference to um you know this like red pill uh black pilled i know the truth it's another one of those things where i'm really just always trying to write songs that'll make people look at each other and stop yelling at each other um and it's just like like well, what is what is really really real i mean we what our sense of reality is just something that's created by our brain like literally when it doesn't work there's a name for it it's called like derealization or depersonalization where it's like for some reason everything doesn't feel real or i don't feel like a real human person that's very unusual um and in those moments you're like oh wait the entire construct of the sensation of reality is constructed by my own mind that's very weird and scary that it just tells me what is real and i just have to experience it as such but that, that's what it is. Um, and that's why people can be so vehemently confident about such diametrically opposed things. If you repeat something enough in somebody's mind, it's like, it makes it real. I, I say a lot, repetition makes real. And I repeat that a lot because I want it to be, 
you know, clear that it's like when you repeat things to people, it really will ingrain itself in their minds to in a way that's beyond logic. Uh, it, that the brain is is structuring itself, is growing itself beyond your own. I mean, you don't think about, hey, where am I going to store this piece of knowledge? It just happens, and so it's like. And, and other people's words and influence are just streaming through our minds all the time. Like we don't really have that much control about how our brains and our thoughts like work out. And the best thing that we can do is constantly be reviewing and refining um, our perceptions to sort of get rid of, uh, what do you call it? Just contradictions in our own beliefs. Um, and this song is again just like uh you know all of this this internet all of this stuff is 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 bullshit can we just like focus on the real and and i would say the real is the earth the real is that we the space that we have to live in because if that goes away all this of these other layers can't really exist um and so that's what purple pill is it's like take like can you can you open yourself up to the opposite perspective even if it is just so fundamentally diapose can you put yourself in a position where you can legitimately explain and rationalize the other view. You know, like it, there's this, this concept called the strong man, which is where it's, it's opposite of st- the strong man. It's where you're trying to understand another person's argument. You actually try to create the strongest version of it so that you can really challenge your own assumptions. And like, for example, like after the election, they're like, there's all of this, um, uh, this fraud, you know? Whatever. And I, I really, I sought out the strong man of it. And I sought out like a very good detailed data analysis of um, why they truly thought that the election was fraudulent. Not just somebody who's just saying it, but somebody who's really taking the effort to do the detailed analysis. And I spent like eight hours on it. And I got to this point where I was like, okay, you're flawed in this area, you're flawed in this area, you're flawed in this area, you're flawed in this area. But at the end of it, I understood very deeply why somebody could get roped into it. And I didn't feel like, this is crazy. How can you possibly believe this? I'm like, I know why you believe this because I've seen the argument. And furthermore, I can sort of help you see why that information is not well presented or is presented disingenuously and explain why. And that is that question. Can you open yourself up to the strong man? Because it's scary. It is so scary, the notion that you might be fundamentally wrong. So we don't really like to expose ourselves to things like that. It feels too scary. Okay. Um, I think, I think, I think that's it. Unless you, unless somebody says one specific song, um, I think th- I think that's, that was a great set, and I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. it, it. Bye, KD. Yeah, perspectives are all real, and each one does have value. Exactly. We get very hung up on like, I am right, you are wrong. Okay, love you all. You're so grateful for tuning in and listening to my thoughts and try to interwave them. And I encourage you to check out, you know, the rest of Regenera Rising. It's uh, really exciting. There's a lot of really interesting speakers. Um, There's a lot of different programming. And I mean, it's just a lot of artists and voices working towards a better future or however you know way they feel like they can do that oh thank you I, I spent like a really long time trying to get the um the sound right Thanks, Mom.
No, I did not know that. I've had, I've definitely, you say I, I knew that it was a great set. I've had this problem recently where I'm like, I'm doing these sets and there's like, there's, you don't feel, you don't know what the energy is because you're putting so much effort just with the technology and just the playing. And you're like, it might sound good here, but there's so many errors for error. Like there could be noise on the mic. There could be like a loose cable. And it's, it is pretty hard to say, to get that real vibe of like, is this going well? Are people enjoying it? But when you're on stage, you know, you immediately get that. <laughs> chat rate. I don't know what that means. All right. Love you all. Bye-bye.